Hello friends, in today's video we will see where and which seals have been found in the Indus Valley Civilization and what was the use of these seals. Now there is strong evidence that there used to be trade between the Indus Valley Civilization, Mesopotamian Civilization and the Egyptian Civilization and its biggest evidence is the seals. The seals that belong to the Indus Valley Civilization but have also been found in large quantities in the Mesopotamian civilizations and the Egyptian civilization, especially Kish, Lagash, Nippur and Ur sites of Mesopotamian civilization. But the question is, what did these seals have to do with trade? So let's understand this with an example. Suppose A wants to sell his goods to B, but it is not necessary that the merchant should also be the delivery person. So even at that time, some people used to do delivery work. That is, A would give his goods to the delivery boy C and it will be the responsibility of C to deliver the goods to B. But the problem in this process was that C could open this sack and get the goods out of it and could replace the valuable things with cheap things. So C could not tamper with the goods in any way. A solution was found for this. The solution was that when two people decide that there will be trade between them, then they used to exchange their seals with each other. So now when A has to send his goods to B, after tying a rope on the mouth of the sack, A used to put wet clay on the rope and put a seal on it. Means he will stamp his seal. After drying, the clay will become hard and the impression of the seal will be clearly visible on it. So in such a situation, if anyone tries to open the mouth of the sack on the way, then it will be clearly understood that the seal is broken and the goods have been tampered with. So you must have seen that even today, the products we buy have a seal on their boxes. And the companies also write that if the seal is broken, then you should not accept that item. So the same concept fits well with the Indus Valley Civilization seals. More than 2000 seals have been found in the Indus Valley Civilization. So now the process with the seals was that when A would seal the rope tied on the mouth of his sack and give it to C and C would deliver it to B and when B receives the sack, B can check whether it is the same sack that A has put and whether that seal is broken or not. So in this way, C cannot tamper with the goods sent by A. By the way, many times more than one seal were also put, maybe for double protection. Since we are talking about trade, it is also important to know what the people of Indus Valley Civilization used to export. So the people used to export precious stones, metals, food grains and shells and used to import silver and gold. And yes, these delivery boys, they also used boats or bullock carts. So now let's understand about these seals in more detail. Usually something used to be written on the seals in Harappan script. The Harappan script could not be deciphered yet. And that is why it cannot be said that what was written on it. But it can be said that it must be the name and title of the owner or the merchant. Along with this, there used to be a motif on the seal. This motif generally used to be of some animal and it used to be believed that those who cannot read the things written above or we can say they are illiterate, then they can understand who is its owner by looking at the motifs. Apart from this, there used to be a small feeding trough or something like feeding containers for animals to eat or stands over the seal. But it is not necessary that it should be on every seal. In fact, it is not on this seal. But if you look at this one, here you can see this feeding container. Harappan seals were usually made up of statite. Statite are generally found in river bed and these are actually soft stone on which these kind of shapes can be created. These are usually soft because there is a lot of talc content in it. Talc also known as talcum and it is the same talcum which is mixed with the cornstarch to make talcum powder. 
This talc is high in hydrated magnesium silicate which contributes to the softness of the stone. The length of these seals used to be from 0.5 inches to 2.5 inches and although they were mostly made of steatite but some seals were also made of agate, chert, copper, faience, calcite, terracotta, silver, gold and ivory. By the way, most of the seals that have been found have a square shape and a humpless bull with single horn is made on them, which we also call a unicorn. So this unicorn seal is the most common seal found everywhere in the Indus Valley civilization and is found in abundance. For example, in Mohanjodaro, 60% of the seals found are unicorn seals and in Harappa, 46% of the seals found are unicorn seals. So, as we got to know, the most common shape in seals is square, but seals are also found in many other shapes, like rectangular shape. In this rectangular shape, there are only inscription on the seals. There were no motif here. Apart from this, triangular, circular and cylindrical shape seals have also been found. And yes, we said that the most common seals are of Indus Valley civilization, square shape, humpless bull, that is unicorn seals. But apart from this, there are many seals on which there were other animals, such as humped bull, rhinosaurus, tiger, elephant, buffalo, bison, goat, hare, and crocodile. Apart from the unicorn, there are 9 to 10 different animals which can be seen on the seals. This list is complete. Apart from this, no other animal can be seen on the seal, not even cow. Apart from this, there used to be hole like thing in the middle of some seals, from which it seems that the people here must be wearing these seals like a locket in their neck. So that was about those seals which had animal motifs on them. But some seals also had religious type of things over them like Earth Mother Seal, which features a nude woman standing on her head with legs apart and a plant growing out of her vagina. It is believed that it represents Goddess Shakambari. Apart from this, swastik seals have also been found, which may have been used as a protective function. And the most important, Pashupati Seal, which also has been found in the Indus Valley Civilization. This seal features a human figure, which resembles a lot from Mahadev Pashupati, that is, Proto Shiva. In this seal, he is seated on a low throne in a yogic posture, that is, in a Padmasan type position. The three horn headgear on his head is a Trishul type crown. Below his throne, there are two deers. On the right, there is a rhino and a buffalo. And on the left, there is a tiger and an elephant. This Pashupati seal has been found in Mohanjodaro. In Mohanjodaro, apart from Pashupati seal, three cylindrical Mesopotamian seals have also been found. And this we have already seen that in Mohanjodaro, 60% of the seals found are steatite based unicorn seals. Apart from this, two more silver unicorn seals have also been found. So, in the map, we can see here that this is Mohanjadaro and here three cylindrical seals have been found, which is of Mesopotamian civilization. But apart from this, in Kalibangan, one cylindrical seal of Mesopotamian civilization has been found. Actually, cylindrical seals were very common in West Asia and was not so common in the Indus Valley civilization. But here, square-shaped seals were mostly common. But still, one cylindrical seal has been found in Kalibangan, which has an Indian motif. This cylindrical seal is of the Indus Valley civilization only. In this seal, two men are standing on either side of a woman. And they are holding a woman with one hand. And they have a sword in the other hand. And this represents human sacrifice. Apart from this, in Lothal, a circular shape Persian Gulf seal has been found. And if we ask where the circular shaped Indus Valley civilization seals have been found, then the answer will be Daimabad, which is in today's Maharashtra. 
Apart from this, in Dholavira, two rectangular shaped seals of Harappan civilization have been found. So these are the details of the seals. And we also got to know during the trade, any tampering could be prevented with the help of the impression on the seal, which is made by pressing seal over wet clay. So it means that there should be more sealings than seals. But the reality is something else. The number of ceilings is less and the number of seals is more. One reason for this could be that the ceilings are not so strong because they were made for temporary purposes and that's why archaeologists would not have been able to find it. But archaeologists also feel that maybe these seals can be used for something other than trade. For example, maybe these seals were being used as identification markers or ID cards. Or maybe they are given as tokens during buying and selling. Or maybe these seals represent people belonging to different communities. And because around 10 animals have been found on the seals, and who knows, there may be 10 communities at that time. And if so, then the unicorn community will be probably be the most powerful community because it has got the most seals. So whatever be the use of these seals, we have covered all the details related to these seals. You can download the PDF of this video from Bookstava app. To understand Indian history and Indian constitution in detail, do follow Bookstava playlist. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching Bookstava.